Some two months before police charged Natalie White with burning down the Wendy's where Rayshard Brooks was killed by an Atlanta police officer. Turns out she had another interaction with police. Yeah, childhood friends in Norcross told police that she tore up their home and hit one of them in the face. No charges were filed that night. But on a police body camera video obtained by the Fox 5 Eye team, Natalie White told an officer it all started because her friends told her she was crazy. I'm so sorry. She was cut, bleeding, so visibly upset. As a Norcross patrolman gently wrapped her hand, she would verbally spar with officers for some 40 minutes, making it clear she wanted no part of the police. You can shoot me. You can shoot me. I have nothing. I did not call you guys. I know the law. I didn't let me go the f home, man. It was late April, according to this Norcross police report. While visiting two childhood friends, Natalie White became emotional and began throwing things. Those friends called the police. There's blood here. Officers wearing body cameras saw the damage firsthand. Natalie White struck her childhood friend, they were told. She threw liquor bottles against a glass oven door, damaged a ping pong table, then punched a glass door window, gashing her hand. Police wanted emergency medical specialists with the fire department to examine that wound. She was afraid she would have to pay for care. I don't want them. I don't know why they're here. Because I called them. Because you're bleeding. Why? Because you're bleeding. Because you couldn't handle it because it's not your jurisdiction. That's not my problem, man. Natalie White refused care. Her friends didn't press charges. But one of those friends told police Natalie needed a mental health evaluation. And later that evening, Natalie White told officers why she was so upset by her childhood friends. Adamant. I mean, they were in my face. They were like... About what? That I'm crazy. That I'm actually crazy. Okay. You think I'm crazy? I don't know you. Maybe I am, but like, is that for you guys to determine? Natalie White did not start a fire. Two months later, the same Natalie White became a central figure in the unfolding drama involving a deadly police shooting and an arson. In a Wendy's parking lot, Richard Brooks, facing a DUI arrest, fought with police, grabbed an officer's taser, and was shot in the back by Officer Garrett Rolfe after firing the taser at the officer while running away. Prior to the attempted DUI arrest, Brooks told officers his girlfriend, Natalie White, could drive him home. You know, Natalie White, she's my girlfriend. I'm sure things will develop with the, the passage of time. Her lawyer, Drew Finley, would not characterize the relationship between White and Brooks out of respect for the Brooks family. Photos released by police led to the arrest of Natalie White. Fox 5 cameras rolled when a woman fitting White's description appeared to ignite an aerosol can in the doorway of Wendy's. Attorney Finling says the Wendy's was already on fire. White was arrested and charged with arson. I'm going to document it in case it happens again. And some two months earlier, Natalie White was not arrested that night in Norcross. Police wouldn't let her drive and took her home. Earlier, she had cussed about the, quote, white entitled privileged who called police on her. Now appearing calm in the back seat of a patrol car as a Norcross officer drives her home, she told the officer she sometimes forgets police are people too. Police officers are like robots now. We're like not supposed to like them. I just, I empathize with you. Her lawyer, Drew Finling, wrote us to say the incident bears no relevance to the arson charge. Finling wrote it is important to note the contrast Miss White must have felt between her courtesy ride home and watching video of her friend's death, who was never offered that same courtesy. Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.